Now, one of the enhancements that I'm going to cover here is uh, enhancements to uh, chamfer operations that is added to a 2018 release. Now, as you uh, select a chamfer operation from the two axis uh, methods, you will notice that under the cut parameters tab, we've now added the option to specify the chamfer either as height or as width. So you could now also specify height and it'll automatically establish the width for chamfer operations. So this is available in uh, 2018 version both in Visual CAD CAM and also can be found in VinoCAM on all chamfer operations. The next thing I'm going to talk about is enhancements to uh, high-speed cut pattern toolpaths. Uh, there have been several enhancements made to the high-speed cut patterns and one of the enhancements that we're going to talk about is the toolpaths have been made more robust and in certain cases where uh, we had identified some issues with the toolpath in the earlier version they have been addressed in version uh, 2018. As you can see here is one of the examples where the, uh, the high-speed cut pattern may have failed in some of these areas and these have been addressed in 2018. So in certain test cases where we noticed some issues, they've been addressed and they're much more robust in 2018, the enhancements to high-speed cut pattern. The next enhancement we're going to talk about is uh, the uh, order of uh, cutting in engraving operations. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to RhinoCam to give you an example for uh, the ordering of the uh, uh, in a sequence of operations in RhinoCam and then we'll also talk about the enhancements to bridges and tabs as well. So what I have here is basically some curved geometries. Uh, this is actually a single line font which you can create in both RhinoCam and Visual CAD CAM and in, in 2018 the order in which these uh, the toolpath follows these uh, curves are automatically sorted out. So in the previous version, as you can tell, it used to sort the open curves first before processing the closed curves. As you notice here in from the previous versions, you see that there's more retract motions and transfer motions occurring in here. And these have been streamlined to version 2018. So it's it's a lot more uniform. So they're processed in the in the same order. So this makes it a lot more efficient and eliminates the additional transfer motions that were involved from previous versions. Now we also made enhancements to bridges and tabs in our version 2018 and I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you an example of that in a profiling operation in here. So in 2018 we've now added a new option under bridges and tabs where you can reduce the feed rate on descending motion. So this will allow you to reduce the feed rate by a percent of your cut feed rate and this percentage of your cut feed rate can be set under the feeds and speeds tab under plunge between levels. So for example if I set the feed rate to be 10 percent of the cut feed rate now as the cutter uh, you know, retracts over for a bridge and then plunges back in, it applies a percentage of your cut feed rate that you specified, so it'll reduce the feed rate for every uh, plunge motion across as it travels across a bridge, each and every bridges and tabs. This is a very nice enhancement for bridges and tabs that you'll find in version 2018. 